Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran. In this video, I will be reviewing all of your mobile apps made using MIT App Inventor. Few days ago, in my community tab of my channel, I posted a link where you can submit all of your mobile apps which you have created using MIT App Inventor. So what I'll do is I I might make a video. I told I might make a video on the apps which you have submitted in this Google form. So that is what this video is about. So if you haven't submitted and if you miss this, it is okay because you can do it for the next chance, which is on January. I'll do these videos again every month. In so next I'll be doing it on January where I can review your apps if you didn't submit. So till now I have got eight responses this month, eight apps which you all of you have submitted. And what I'm going to do is I'll review all of these and I'll also give additional tips on how you can improve them. And I'll also give tips on MIT App Inventor. So these tips will be very helpful when you are creating new projects or new apps in MIT App Inventor. So make sure you watch till the end to learn more about MIT App Inventor. So the first app which we are going to review is made by Pratyush Joshi. And this, this app is similar to an operating system. So it's not a real operating system, but we can call it as a virtual operating system. So it has all the apps and utilities which is needed in an operating system. And if you don't know what an operating system is, it is something similar to Android and iOS. So as you can see, this is the home screen and you can see the time at the top. I'll click on all apps like this. Now you can see that there are list of apps similar to an operating system. So I'm going to click on calculator first. Okay, so I'll enter some numbers like six and then what about four? Now I'm going to click on add. You can see 10, subtract, multiply and divide. You can see that all of it is working. So the first app, the calculator is working well. Next, let's see the game, the mole mash game. So as you can see here, it is moving all around. We need to click on the mole mash, the mole in which is mowing to get a score. So I, as you can see, I click two times, my score is two. So you can also reset the game to zero. Next, we have the pedometer. So as you can see, this has all these options, start, stop, reset, and it will also show the steps. So I. If you want to create a pedometer using MIT App Inventor, I created a tutorial on creating a pedometer app using MIT App Inventor, which you can watch from right now. The link is in the description and also up in the cards. So even this works well. Next, we are going to look at Tanner. So this is a QR code scanner. So while he was submitting the app, he said that this was not working. So after we test this app, in the block section, we will try to find what is the issue and we are going to solve it. So if you have the same issue, like QR code is not working, make sure you watch this video till the end. Next, he also has created something called list. So let us see what it is. Here, I think you need to type some items. I'll just type hello and I'll click on add. You can see that it is getting added. Now I'll type hello to something like that and then three. Now you can see that these are getting added now we can i'll just remove this one and i'm going to update this one hello 3 to be hello 8 and now you can update it like that so i created a tutorial on how to use lists in mit app inventor similar to this one so you can watch the tutorial the link is in the description and up in the cards so even this looks great as you can see, it, he has written that, remember, this is a temporary text saving app. If you close it, it is gone. So this is temporary, which means if you close the app, it is the, all the data is gone. So we will see how to solve that later in MIT App Inventor. Next, we have the notes. So here you can type the notes which you want and you can click on save. So this will save it. And even if you close and open the app, it will be saved. Here we have the states info app. So let's see what this one is. So here I think you need to select the state. I think it is from India. And then after you select the state, you'll be able to see all the information about the state. So we will see in the block section how this was done also. Next we have the camera. So I'll just click on camera. 
and as you can see now you you'll be able to see my laptop where you can see the blocks of the app next we also have something called hi-fi i think this is an voice assistant so as you can see there's a microphone icon which you can click to do the voice assistant as it will speak to us so currently even this is not working so we will find out what to do in the block section in the app so overall this is a great app well done now let us see how this app works we are not going to see all of these but i'll just tell you the important parts so as you can see this is the home screen where he has used the buttons and the labels to do like this and then as you can see there are many images for these icons and then now let's see in the block section he is going to the different screens like the list screen the note screen and then the wiki screen for each of these buttons so for example when they click on calculator it will go to the calculator screen which is over here so that's what it was done in the block section next we can look at so as you can see there are many items so we are going to look at the qr code scanner so i think it is over here and as you as you know the qr code scanner was not working to solve this what you can do is you can go to the proper the in the components click on barcode scanner and you will be able to see a property called use external scanner we are going to uncheck this box so what this will do is even if the mobile doesn't have any scanner the app will work which means that now the scanner the qr code scanner is going to work without giving any error the same way if you want to learn more about creating qr code scanner watch the video link in the description below next what we are going to do is as you can see there are many screens we will see the second screen which is the list one so in the screen as you can see there's a problem which is it's not actually a problem but there's a missing feature which which is when we close this app all the data stored in the list will be gone so to make this not temporary and to make it permanent what you can do is you can use tiny db so if you go over to storage you can see this the tiny db component so if you go to the note screen you can see that he has used the tiny db component which is available in MIT App Inventor where you can close the app and even even if you close the app and shut down the mobile the data will not go so as you can see he is storing it in the tiny db so you can do the similar thing for this list this is the states info screen of the app where you can select a state and it will show all the information about the state like the capital the chief minister all the information so in the block section as you can see everything is hot coded which means that everything is being typed over here so this is a good method but a better method which is easier than this one is using an api to fetch all the details so as you can see it is very hard to type all of these and if something suddenly changes you need to update it again and again in your app when you use an api and get all these information you, you can use the web component for that it is easier because you don't need to update it and you don't need to type it you can just get it so that is my suggestion in the screen so overall it is a great app next we have an app made by anshja and this is again a calculator which is similar to we which we saw in the before app in the operating system so first you'll enter the first number i'll enter it to be like 10 second number to be 5 next i'm going to click on add you can see 15 subtract 5 multiplication and you can see it's 50 division so this app is working perfectly fine now let us review the blocks so as you can see in the designer we have two text boxes so i feel these text boxes are too big so you can reduce the size to make the ui design look more great and you can see that these these are the operations so instead of adding the symbols you can add icons of addition subtraction the symbols you can go to google and you can add the icons of these symbols which would make the ui look more attractive so now let's look at the block section you can see that when button one which is the addition button is clicked we are using the addition operator in the math section over here and it is being showing it is being shown in label 5 the same way it is for all of these buttons so 
subtraction multiplication and division so you can make this app more interactive and more great by using voice so you can use voice your voice to tell the numbers and tell the operation so if you want to create the app i created the video and it the link for the video is in the description it is a voice calculator where you can ask the question using your voice and it will answer so overall this is a great app too next we have two apps created by parent so we are going to review them so the first one is the map app so i think this will detect the your location and it will show it in the map using the map component and the location sensor so i have seen i have tested it and it works perfectly so great job and then now in the block section as you can see first when the location is changed we will show it in the label like this and then when button 1 is click so you can see button 1 is this one show me where i am it will show it in the map your place and this is the zoom value it will show the latitude using the latitude and longitude it will show so this is a great app too now let us see the second app created by parent so the second app created by parent is alarm app so as you can see you need to enter your the time where you need to set the alarm in 24 hour format and when you click on this button it will be set in the mobile's alarm app so for this he is using the typhoon alarm extension which is over here also text to speech component is being used so using this you can see that text box 3.text is being spoke so text box 3 is this one so you can see the hint is your alarm message here so the alarm message will be spoke like that so if you want you can improve this app more by adding the speech recognition using which you use your voice to tell the alarm the time of the alarm and the mobile will set the alarm so i'm going to create a video on ai alarm app or voice alarm app using mit app inventor soon so make sure you watch that so overall this is a great app too next we have a racing game made by arvind and then in this game this is a multiplayer racing game using which you can use two mobiles to play so as you can see you can use the arrows and whoever reaches the end first in the two players within the different two mobiles is the winner so for this let's see how he is communicating and he is storing it in the cloud database or the firebase database as you can see he is using the firebase db which means that it will be stored in the internet or the web so that it can be accessed through all the mobiles so you can see there's a lots of things going on here and there's a lots of blocks so i'm going to create a tutorial for others who are, who haven't created this app so make sure you watch that video i'll create it soon so i'll not be able to review all of these here but i tested it and it is working fine so great job next we have a mobile app created by havish and here you can see this is an app which scans and generates a qr code i'll not be able to show the blocks of the app and all of that because as you can see the file is an apk file so mit app inventor only allows aia files to be imported so also he wrote a message like i am i'm pro only providing dot apk file if you like then i would provide a apk file aia file so make sure you submit the aia file next time which is next time in january where i'll do this video again so if you want to learn more about creating qr code using mit app inventor watch this video so we can review this app in my next video if the aia file is submitted the next app is submitted by vinay and this app is a drawing app created by him called v drawing app and this is the apk file so please submit only aia files then only i'll be able to review it in mit app inventor so make sure you submit only aia files so i'll review this app next time if the aia file is submitted so if you don't know how to submit an aia file you can go over to your project and then over here you can go to projects and you can click on export selected project.aia to my computer to get the aia file 
then you can upload it in my google form next we have oxygen attendance app created by gaurav and i think this app will let me show you how this works in my mobile phone so here you can see the app i'll click on select class and let's see what this app is so i'll just click on class 5 just for an example okay so i think we need to enter the data so i'll just enter the name to be hello just for an example i'll put the division to be like c something like that and then the oxygen to be like 90 something like that and then the temperature to be 98 and i'll click on submit now i think this will save it in google sheets so i'm going to go to view record and over here let me go to 5 and let's see if it is saved in google sheets so you can see that in google sheets it is saved as hello and then the division is c the oxygen everything is being shown here so this saves the data to google sheets so if you want to learn how to save data to google sheets click on the link in the description below i created a tutorial on that so this is a great app now let us look at the blocks so here you can see the designer of the app so as you can see for every standard you can see that there are different screens for example for 9 5 and 6 so for each of the numbers there are different screens so instead of doing this the another better way you can do is using layouts so you can use layouts different layouts like vertical arrangement you can show and hide them when buttons are clicked instead of doing it like this so this is a suggestion and this will improve the memory in the mobile which is used in the app so this app is great overall too next we have an educational app and over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the robot i'm going to play life here and i am a robot in this app where i am going to teach you all the new thing which you are going to learn now so this is an educational app for small kids preschool kids who can learn all of these like animals birds insects so if i click on animals you can see that the different animals are visible now when i click on an a particular animal so i'll click on tiger, tiger. you can see that it is telling tiger and it also shows below in the label so i'll you can click on penguin, penguin. and you can see it is telling it so i'll go back and the same way we have many more like birds insects shapes vehicles colors fruits and vegetables numbers and my family so this app is very helpful for kids to learn so now let us see the blocks you can see the design of the app so i'll go to the animal screen like that and as you can see these are buttons where the images are inserted like doc.jpg and for each button there's an image which is an animal and then we also have a button to go back and then you can see in this label it is written click the animal to know their name now in the block section as you can see when the button one is clicked it will set the label one dot text to be dog and using text to speech it will speak dog which means that whenever this button is clicked button one it will show it in the label and it will also use text to speech to speak it out so this is how all of these work and then we also have so it is the same logic for even the birds and all other screens as you can see when button one click here it is the crow and it is being shown so this is a great app too thanks for watching till the end make sure to subscribe like and share also if you haven't submitted your apps you can submit it next month where i'll again review all of your apps which you submit in the google form so i'll put all the updates in my community tab of my channel so make sure you check that too